I'm making Discord better, but I'm going to be breaking some rules, and Discord won't like this. It's as simple as going to the website in the description, downloading Vengord, open up the installer, click install, restart Discord. Now, this is a client modification, and it is against Discord's rules, but no one actually gets banned for using it with the official plugins that are found in the plugins tab. Fake Nitro allows you to get free Discord Nitro perks. All you need to do is enable it, restart your Discord client, and now you're ready to do cool things like send Nitro emojis. Now, to be fair, when you do send it, it's actually a link that gets automatically converted into a GIF, but it doesn't stop there. You can go to your user settings, go to appearance, and you can pick custom Nitro themes. Cotton candy? <laughs> yes, sir, you can. But that's not the best part. You can stream your Discord in source stream quality. 4K 60 FPS streaming without Nitro. Look at my account. There's no Nitro there. As you can see, source 60 FPS. Now this next one, I'm not going to judge you. Okay, I'm not going to judge you at all, but let's say you like looking at NSFW stuff on Discord. Well, there is a plugin that when you enable it and you restart Discord, it'll allow you to access NSFW channel of Pokimane's feet and you won't be blocked by Discord's age restriction. But let's say one of those oh so beautiful photos disappear. It gets deleted. Well, you can enable the message logger plugin to save all those images. So you get sent that succulent feet photo and the person deletes it. Well, not entirely. It is saved by your message logger. Now, here's the thing with message loggers. There's a lot of negative sentiment around them and I should clear things up. It is a little bit of a mixed bag. So before there was a whole bunch of chit chat saying that this would 100% get you banned. However, that is not the case at all because this plugin works all offline. It doesn't send anything to Discord. It just stores all that content locally. However, this can be a privacy concern because of course, if you send something and you delete it, then you want it to be deleted. People will have message loggers. So you should always think before you send something. And it's not just deleted messages, by the way, they can also see your edited message. But if you like saving people's messages and being a stalker, do you want to be more of a stalker? We'll get relationship notifier. Now in the settings of a relationship notifier, I would turn on notices just so you can see what's going on, save and close. And now let's see how this plugin works. So what this plugin allows you to do is that if someone removes you as a friend, oh, look at that notification on the top. No text to speech removed you as a friend. <laughs> Devastating. Now let's say we're in a group chat. I invite you over to the Saturday night sleepover group chat. And you know what? You're no longer invited. I've removed you from the group and you get a notification as well. And the best part about this all is that it works even if you're offline. If you're super insecure about your relationship with your friends, this is the perfect solution for you and definitely will make things worse. Now next up is pin DMs and this one is beautiful, my favorite. Now what this plugin allows you to do is if you right click on a DM, you can pin a DM and you can do this for all your friends. For me, I have no friends. It's just all my alt accounts. And this is extremely useful if you're someone like me and you get a whole bunch of DMs. Oh my goodness, I go crazy every single morning. And since we're talking about friends, let's talk about friend invites. What you can do is you can run slash create friend invite and it will create a friend invite that will allow one person to add you as a friend. One thing I want to point out is that in my settings, in my friend request settings, I'm going to turn everything off. There is no way that anyone should be able to add me as a friend. But if I'm on my no text to speech account and I click on add friend, it will automatically add this person as a friend. It bypassed those settings that I looked at. What about server stuff? Well, you could enable emote cloner when I went to my favorite discord server, Honkai Star Rail official and I, oh wow, look at this cute little emote. All I have to do is right click on it, then click clone emoji. I get to pick the name of the emoji and I pick the server I want to add it to. I'm going to add it to I ate Taco Bell and shitted. Kaboom successfully cloned to my server. And if I go back to I ate Taco Bell and shitted, I click on emojis and look, there is a new emoji all done automatically and super quickly. Now next up is read all notifications button. Now with this plugin, if you have a whole bunch of notifications like unread messages and pings, you just click on the button. Oh my gosh, it's all gone. Very useful if you don't know how to manage your notifications, but who needs to manage their notifications when they have the plugin mute new guild. And what it allows you to do is mute newly joined guilds. So if I join a new Discord server and I go and look at the server, oh, where did it go? There we go. And I right click on it. You can see that the server was already muted and the notification settings have been set to suppress everyone and at here and roll mentions. The sad news though, is that this plugin is a little bit bugged because if I join Apex Legends and click join Apex Legends, if I right click the server, it doesn't work. And also Discord, you should just add this by default. This is such a basic feature that would like save a whole bunch of people. Now my server list looks like an 
an absolute mess. But with the Better Folders plugin, things get a little bit better. And one important thing is going into the settings because we can choose how this plugin reacts. By default, it has a sidebar. You'll see that if I click on a folder, it'll pop up this special little sidebar. Now, if I add more folders, it'll automatically close. If I join a Discord server, it'll go back. And if I click on a different channel, it will close the sidebar altogether. Now, this is a quick one, but since we're here anyways, enable the plain folder icon plugin. This thing, oh, beautiful. Look at this. It's just a little folder that's hidden. You can change the color folder settings to like yellow because it's all about the PP servers. Oh, anime goes in there too. That's PP. So now Discord isn't all about organizing your servers and making cute little server lists like I have. It's about chatting. I try to be cutesy and say heyo and send a wave emoji. But here's the thing. There are this many wave emojis. And I specifically just want to use one certain one. I want to use this animated wave emoji. Well, using the favorite emoji first plugin, I can pick a specific emoji that I always want to use. So now if I go to my emoji picker and I search for wave, I can pick the specific emoji that I want. I like this one here. I'm going to favorite it. And now when I type in heyo and I put in wa for wave, the one at the very top is the emoji that I favorited. So I can just type it in, press the tab key, and it'll automatically fill. Why is this not a feature in Discord already? What? Now, this one might be a me problem, but whenever I accidentally type in a Discord server, generally speaking, someone's going to figure out and notice that I'm online. But there is a way for me to escape this eternal prison, and it's through the silent typing plugin. Now, in the settings, you can actually enable a little button to press if you don't always want to be a little sneaky sneakerton. But if I restart Discord, you can see silent typing is enabled. I can type as much as I want, and no one will have any idea until I accidentally click the disable button and then people will realize and uh, I'll just get pinged 30,000 times and lose my sanity. Now this one's just going to save you a massive headache. But you know when you reply to someone and it automatically has this ping enabled and when you type to someone and you press enter, they get pinged with your message? Well, you can turn that off by enabling the no reply mention plugin. Now just note there is a way to do a little bit of a whitelist or a blacklist depending on what you want. But if I restart Discord, disable the streamer mode and I click on reply, now that is always off. Now next up, this is my favorite. You know how someone sends an image in Discord and maybe your grandma's looking at your computer so you really need to zoom in and this just isn't enough and you need to open it in your browser, then you need to zoom in and all this stuff. Ugh. Well, that's where image zoom comes in. When you enable this plugin and of course restart Discord, you can click on an image. Then if you press and hold your mouse button, oh, that bad boy zooms in. Now you can zoom in and out by just using your scroll wheel. But if you want to change the size of this big circle, you hold shift. Then you use your scroll wheel to change it. So let's say you're really down bad friend sends you a photo of Pokimane and my goodness you just want to see some feet well guess what baby you can do that with this plugin oh my goodness look at them pixels god why am I so down bad now let's say you're on a discord server that people just don't understand that sending images all the time can be a little bit annoying well I have you covered with the beautiful hide attachments button oh my goodness you're gonna love this bad boy you get this little button up here that says hide attachments kaboom so clean beautiful now it's time for the rapid fire rounds we have trans Translate plugin, which allows you to translate messages with this little button, and kaboom! Turns from Chinese to English. The next plugin, Who Reacted, allows you to see who reacted to your message. Message link embeds allows your message links to turn into these fancy little embeds so you can see what you're about to click into. And if you copy the message link to the message link, it'll just keep going. It'll look at the message link and then get the message link and then get the message link, which will show the message inside. And finally, the last one is Send Timestamps, and this allows you to insert a timestamp. You can select a time. So I'm going to delete my channel on August 1st at 2.22 p.m. I can change the format of the time. So in seven days, click insert, press enter, and kaboom, in seven days. I'd obviously need to add a little bit of context to my message so when I send it, it makes sense. But you can create timestamps very quickly and easily. Now, client mods like Vencord aren't all about making Discord better. Sometimes it's just making Discord more goofy. And my favorite one is ReviewDB. You can click on someone's profile and you can see their user reviews and... Oh no, not my reviews. No text from your dad. Yeah, anyways, there's a there's a lot of messages that you can do. Some dude uh, talked about how I uh, stole his wife. I've also been told that Discord is used to talk to people. I've never talked to someone before, but there is a plugin called Call Timer, and you would never guess what it does. It shows you how long you're in a Discord call.
And there's another one called Disabled DM Call Idle. You know how you're talking to your e-girlfriend and maybe they uh, need to go for dinner for like 10 minutes? So you leave the voice call and you're just stuck in there by yourself, sad, depressed, lonely. Well, after five minutes, Discord is going to kick you for inactivity. But using this plugin, when you enable this bad boy, you stay in that voice call for as long as you want. Now I saved a fun, quirky one for last. It's called Custom RPC. And what it allows you to do is it allows you to have a custom game that you're playing. Uh, mine's called Name, because I was using this for a previous video. In fact, I have a little bit of a tutorial in another video. I'll link it in the description with a timestamp so you can go to it. And these buttons can go to anywhere. Your YouTube channel, or in my case, my Discord server, which we never want to talk about. Now, finally, our last plugin is Voice Messages. What it allows you to do is you can click on the upload button and you can click Send Voice Message. Now, you have two options. You can upload a file or you can start recording your own message. I'm going to do what anyone does with voice messages. Baby, please just come back. We was just one argument. Now you're fighting with me. Please. I know you have a boyfriend, but please just take me. <laughs> and then once you do that, you can click on send and it'll send them the voice message and we can give it a good little listen. Baby, please just come back. <laughs> it's perfect. It's the best way to convey emotion in a discord chat. But there's also themes with client mods, which are pretty damn cool. So go to the theme section of Vencord. You should see this better Discord themes thing. Just click on Discord themes and it'll open up your browser and you'll see all these beautiful themes. And what you want to do is find something you like. So I like this Zelk one here. You're going to click on the theme. Then you're going to click on source over here. And then when you're on the GitHub, scroll down and just see if there's anything about Vencord. If you see a Vencord installation guide, follow that. But if you don't, then look for a .theme.css file. This one right here, I'm going to click on it. Then click on raw and you should get this link here. You want to copy this link, go back to Discord and paste in the theme link and press that enter key and then also click off. Kaboom. Fancy new theme. I go and I can do whatever the heck I want. So you can do themes and if you want to take them off, all you got to do is just remove the link, click off of themes and then... Oh. You're back to normal. Anyways, that's why people download client mods, because there are tons and tons and tons of features. Anyway, sweetheart, bye-bye. I love you. Mwah.